Bonjour everybody, welcome back to my channel, welcome if you are new, my name is Louisa, you are watching Lulu C'est la vie and for today's video I'm super excited because we are doing a Q&A. I asked you guys to send me your question through uh, Instagram and YouTube and you guys delivered. <laughs> um, I had to go through them and pick because there, was, there were a lot that were redundant so I picked a few and I'm gonna answer them but before I get into this video if you have watched more than one video on my channel and you really enjoy them you might want to hit the subscribe button it will really help me out and when you do you get notification on the next time I'm posting a new video or the next time I'm doing a live stream I know a bunch of you have been trying to you know see my live stream on Fridays if you subscribe you'll get the notifications um, also if you want to know a little bit more about me I am sharing a lot more on Instagram this is uh, where you can find me on Instagram and I hope you come and join me over there okay with no further ado let's get this video started okay so the first question that I have a lot of them are hair related and I think I have a a few of them that are more personal I'm just gonna do it randomly and just go with the flow okay uh, all right so my first question is gonna be a hair question and uh, Corn Swartz is asking, Hi Louisa, how important do you feel is combing slash brushing through your living, even for looser type 2 hair? Thank you so much. This is a great question. You guys have so many awesome questions that I'm just super excited. <laughs> All right, so when you have type 2 hair, which is most of the time very fine hair, uh, I think it's really important to, well, to me at least, huh? uh, to brush your hair through when, when you have your styling products in. Why? Because it minimizes the amount of freeze that you will get after you're done drying your hair. And it will allow your hair to clump together very nicely and give you a better uh, defined curl, a better uh, defined end result. So, you know what? This question actually inspired me to do a video a versus video where I'm going to do one size one side of my hair uh, where I do not brush my hair with the product through and another side of my hair where I do brush the product the my hair with the product and we'll see the difference and I bet you one side is gonna be a lot more freeze uh, a lot less definition I'm just speculating <laughs> but not really, uh, but yeah, this really inspired me. So thank you so much, uh, Corn Swartz, for your question. Uh, I hope this answers a little bit, but stay tuned for this video because I think it's very interesting, especially since in the Curly Girl uh, method, they tell you not to brush your hair. But guys, keep in mind when you have type two hair, very fine hair, there's a lot of things that we can't really do from the Curly Girl method. Um, so yeah. Let's, uh, let's stay tuned for this video, okay? Okay, next question from Sharada. Uh, how can a 2A curl get defined curls from the roots? Uh, this is a very interesting question. As there's two things that I want to talk about when it comes to getting definition from the roots. The first one is, um, it's all about the product you're gonna use on your hair, how you apply those products on your hair, and your styling technique and your diffusing technique okay so um, you have to make sure you have the right products for your hair type something that's gonna hydrate your hair but not wet your hair down and you want to lock it in with a gel so whether you use a live-in conditioner or a mousse doesn't matter in my book it's always good to lock whatever product with a gel now, how do you apply the product well I think it's smarter to apply the product with your head up straight and not with your head upside down that way you can really work the product from the roots all the way down okay again you have to make sure that you get the right product for your hair type this is key once you've applied your product if you want to go into a clumping method then you put your head upside down and you start your clumping method if you decide to do a rake and shake, you're gonna rake and shake from the roots. I'm not doing it right now, I'm showing you the, the gesture, um, but I don't wanna mess up my hair. Uh, and shaking from the roots, you're gonna feel 
on your scalp that your hair is shaking and this is going to activate your natural curl pattern the next option is to do a hand curl by hand curling you're actually telling your hair exactly what direction and how to curl um, it's my least favorite the hand curling because it is time consuming and um, I end up having personally having very flat curl pattern like it's it's just it's not the cutest but it works for a lot of girls I see a lot of girls on Instagram who end up having nice bouncy curls with hand curling so um, how you apply your product how you style your hair and then finally diffusing it's important that when you start diffusing your hair you start by diffusing the roots first and then you go on the length uh, I hope this answers your question. Now, the other thing I want to say about getting definition at the roots is be realistic with what your hair has. If you're talking about a type 2A hair, it's more than likely a wavy hair type. Wavy hair type tend to um, have their pattern on the length of the hair. From the roots, to like the first few inches it's not really like a super curly pattern the curl pattern or the wave pattern curl comes as the hair gets longer and longer if that makes any sense um, also the longer your hair the heavier your hair the looser your curl pattern and the more weight on the roots you'll get and so the more elongated it will look so you have to really take a objective look at your hair and see if this is something that your hair naturally wants to give you curl from the roots if not is it worth fighting for is it are you going to be miserable trying to achieve something that doesn't come naturally have an objective look at what you are working with and work with that um, if you see that no matter how you style your hair your roots are flat maybe you should concentrate on your length and make sure that if your roots are a little flat at least you get that that length that little bounce going through the length of your hair so we're taking out the focus from getting definition on the roots to making sure that my length has a good definition and trust me that'll make you happier in the long run <laughs> okay moving on to the next question what do you use for a deep conditioner i use mostly mask more than deep conditioner but the number one deep conditioner i've been using lately is from jc curl the deep conditioner from jc curl can't remember the name i'll put a picture right here but that's my favorite deep conditioner uh ensuite lenka is asking me which product only one is your holy grail styler it's hard it's really hard for me to answer the quest this question for two reasons the first one uh the goal of this youtube channel is to try products and to talk about it to you guys to share it with you so you can see how a type 2 uh b c 3a uh fine way with a curly hair girl uh react to certain products right um and another thing is as the change as the seasons are changing as I am changing, my hair is changing. And what works for me, a combo that will work for me uh, through the summer is not gonna work for me as we're entering fall. Uh, so my Holy Grail product will always change. Right now, as we're talking, and it is September 9th, um, I've been using a lot of uh, Garnier Fructis One Minute Hair Mask that I use as a mask, a conditioner, but also and mostly as a live-in conditioner. Why? Because it gives my hair all the moisture that it needs right now. Would I be using this the whole time? No. Have I been going back to this product for years? Yes, this is a, a standard that I have in my bathroom. And although I am trying different type of product, stuff more organic, stuff more commercial, uh, Garnier One Minute Hair Mask is a product that I keep going back to. All that to say, I don't think you should look for the only grail of product that will work for you no matter what. I think you should have groups, combos of products that you know work for you for each 
season. Okay, my next question is what shampoo do you use? Uh, again, just like the holy grail of products, I rotate between different types of shampoo depending on what my hair needs. I don't use so many shampoos as I use conditioner, um, but when it comes to down to shampoo, I will more than likely go for something that still hydrates my hair and not be clarifying. I tend to stay away from clarifying shampoos because they are a little too harsh on my hair. Which brings me to the next question, how to clarify wavy to curly hair? I'm running out of battery. Let me just change my battery real quick. All right, my love, I'm back. The battery is full. Um, okay, so the next question is regarding uh, clarifying fine wavy to curly hair. Um, so how often should you wash your hair? How often should you cleanse your hair from the buildup product? How often should you use shampoo? For those of you who did not watch my curly girl method for fine wavy to curly hair video that I posted a couple weeks ago, again, it is linked right here for you guys and I kind of answered this question, but I'm going to answer it again. Um, all right, so how often do I shampoo my hair, for example? Let's say that I shampoo my hair on a Monday morning, okay? I'm going to rock my style on Monday. I'm going to wake up on Tuesday. I'm going to refresh my curl with water, maybe a little bit of product, just to re, re, uh, revamp my, my style, right? To give my curl a little oomph and try to tan down the frizz. Rock that style. And then I'm going to wake up on Wednesday and I'm going to cleanse my hair. Why? Because my fine wavy to curly hair cannot take so many products for so many days. I have different options in front of me. I can, one, do another shampoo, which is going to strip my hair and my scalp from all the oils that it lo loves and needs. Uh, I can do a uh, co-wash, uh, low poo, no poo, no ladder, low ladder type of shampoos. All these terms are pretty much telling us the same thing. It's not as strong as a shampoo, but it will clarify your hair. My third option is to uh, just rinse my hair under warm water for an extended period of time and brush my hair through, maybe put a little bit of conditioner in there and then brush my hair through, which is what I tend to do I want to say 75% of the time. Uh, and that will get rid of the excess product. It will, the little bit of conditioner will still give moisture to your hair. And then from that point on, you can move on to a styling process. Uh, Thursday, we're going to refresh our hair with a little bit of water and a little bit of styling product. Do our best to tamp down the frizz and get, and have nice, bouncy, defined curls. So Friday arrives. And more than likely, if you're like me and you work out a lot and you sweat a lot or your hair is fine like mine and it cannot take so much product or your scalp is very sensitive and you start, you start feeling itchy, you're going to need to cleanse your hair again. Again, you have the same option. Uh, you can either use a shampoo, which again will strip your hair from all its natural sebum and all the oils that's been protecting and hydrating your hair. You can use a co-wash, low poo, no poo, low ladder, no ladder, that will be a lot more gentle on your hair and that will leave your hair a little bit more hydrated. Or you can just rinse your hair under warm water and add a little bit of conditioner to detangle nicely and then go ahead and style your hair again. Personally, I like to use a low poo, no poo, co-wash at this point. Uh, and then you're going to style your hair. Friday comes, goes through, rocking your style. Uh, Saturday, Sunday, you know, it's the weekend, nice and easy. And then Monday comes again, and then you're going to wash your hair again with shampoo just to make sure that everything in is clean. And ev we're starting from fresh. And yes, you're getting rid of all the oils all the sebum and that is when you are also doing a deep conditioning or a mask my rule of thumb is one shampoo a week and it's always uh, followed by a deep conditioning or a mask every time i need to wash my hair or cleanse my hair after that i am using something more gentle i'm using either warm water and conditioner or one of the low poos, no poos, co-wash, blah, blah, blah. You get the gist of it. Okay, I hope we're clear on this. Moving on to the next question. 
Um, where did where did your confidence come from? Okay, the next question is from Science and Visions. Where did your confidence come from? Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I don't see myself as somebody who's particularly confident. But when I talk to other people and I see myself with their eyes, I realize that I actually have confidence in myself. Um, and I think it comes from how I was raised and my role models when I was a kid. Uh, my mother was somebody who was very confident and she passed that on to me and my brother. My dad uh, also was pretty confident, uh, but what was pretty cool is that they also were very down to earth and very grounded. So yeah, I think this is where the confidence that you guys see uh, comes from. My brother and I are pretty, uh, feel, we feel pretty good in our shoes, like we say in English, you know. Actually, the real expression is to be comfortable, to be good in our sneakers. On est bien dans nos baskets. <laughs> I will leave it at that. Okay, uh, next question. Um, next question is going to be, uh, did you have a transitioning mode going from damage to a wavy slash curly with pictures? I actually have a whole video about that, uh, Astrid Bowman. I have a whole video about that that I will link right here for you to see. But yes, I did destroy my hair with bleach. Um, Again, everything, all the detail are in this video and I had to transition from a certain length, I think it was about this length, completely destroyed to, well, to what I am today, you know? Not too bad, I mean, it's been better, but you know, it's okay. <laughs> so I will link the video if you guys wanna watch it. I explained my whole journey and I put the pictures in there too. Um, another question from Stefan's underscore JC. Do you still use flaxy gel or is there another gel you like better? Is Bioterra a good one? I need one. Okay, so to answer your two questions. First one, I do still use flaxy gel. I just have not been making any lately, just too lazy. Also, the shelf life is too short and it's been, it's been so hot in Rockaway, I mean in New York, that um, it's just not convenient. I feel like my flaxseed lasts longer in winter time uh, and it gets spoiled faster in the summertime, which makes sense because the temperatures are warmer. Uh, Bioterra is a really good gel for my hair type. Personally, it gives me the hold that I need. It's not the strongest hold out there, but it gives me the hold that I need and it is super affordable. So I think that it's a very good gel to have in your bathroom. Uh, and then a, a very easy go-to. Now it's not for everybody. If you like that strong hold with that strong cast, you might want to go for something a little bit stronger. Zoto Professional, their line all about curls. They have a gel. They have a strong hold the gel. They have two gels. One that has that is a I think a normal hold, and one that is a super strong hold. Um, I will link right here the review on this line of product and I use the strong hold I think on the review it's affordable and it is pretty good too but my favorite gel to this day uh, is still the Widad Advanced Climate Control it's a little bit pricey but it's pricey for a reason it is excellent it holds it it holds no matter what I mean the name cell tells it all you know Advanced Climate Control so this is a gel that I, I recommend you try, but it is, it's not budget friendly. Uh, the last one that I like is the um, Orange Marmalade from Echo Slay. Again, I'll put the review right here. I think I'll link all the videos in the description box also so that you guys uh, can get them easily. But if you click on that little I button, you'll see all the videos I'm talking about. Okay, next question from oily underscore bird. Hey girl, uh, will you be homeschooling your daughter? So we decided with Nigel to uh, have Ella go to school from September to about November. Uh, once the weather starts getting 
pretty cold and we're starting entering into the flu season we are taking her out of school and we will be homeschooling her last question this one is from lucia sanchez she actually has two questions uh, the first one do you have any diy masks uh, so yes I do uh, if you go through my channel you'll see I have a playlist called DIYs and you'll probably find a few hair masks in there uh, my favorite one the easiest one that I can share with you right now is how to boost your current hair mask if you have a hair mask that you're not particularly a big fan of and you think it could use a little bit more moisture a bit more everything <laughs> I would say go in your kitchen grab an egg uh, grab some honey maybe grab a yogurt that had expired um, and then about two or three tablespoons of your favorite hair, hair mask and mix everything together so we're gonna mix the hair mask with the yogurt with the egg with the honey and all these ingredients are gonna boost your hair, your hair mask and give it a little oomph and when you apply that on your hair let it sit for a while maybe um, apply a bit of heat over it uh, you will see a huge difference on how your hair end up looking like now the second question you have and that's the last question after that we're done what is the best way to get definition without losing volume personally the clumping technique has given me the best volume for my definition if that makes sense um, by applying the product on soaked wet hair you, you allow the product to be evenly distributed all over your hair which is a big deal when you want hydrated all over hydrated hair without getting your hair weighted down uh, clumping my hair with a whole lot of product in it and then diffusing my hair like that really gave me a good definition and I want to say about an hour after I'm done diffusing my hair, my hair starts fluffing up and it will slowly fluff up uh, throughout the day. And that's when I get the best volume. So clumping technique is giving me the best volume and the best definition at the same time. Voilà. That's all I have to say. <laughs> okay, my loves, I am all said and done with this video. I hope it's not going to be too long, but I also think that those are questions that you guys have. So, you know, I think it will be helpful. Again, this is my point of view. I'm not a hairstylist. I'm just like you guys uh, going through this hair journey and sharing my experience and what I've learned with you. Uh, what works for me may not work for you. So please keep that in mind. My uh, words are not the ultimate truth. It is my truth. It's what works in my hair. It is for you to find out what works for your hair okay all right my loves i'm all said and done don't forget to like this video it really helps me out don't forget to leave a comment if you want to share uh, any of your knowledge with the community now it's the time comment section if you have any questions for me also um, you guys inspire me for my next videos so feel free to uh, share your two cents in the comment section always with respect as you usually do and I really appreciate that um, don't forget to share with your friends if you think you can help them in their curly hair journey feel free to subscribe and voila that's it I will see you guys next week with a new video until then my love stay happy be healthy have a beautiful life au revoir et à bientôt <laughs> hey c'est la vie <laughs>